Blender has come a long way in recent years, with an arsenal of features that can even go head to head with the rest of the industry standard software. However, it is not always the case, but why? Because one of the obstacles it still faces is in the VFX side of things, and the quality of fluid simulation it produces. I'm not saying it is bad, but the reality is it still has a long journey ahead of it if Blender wanna challenge industry standard fluid simulation software, especially Houdini. But there is one tool that has been helping Blender users in the last few years. And from what I have seen, it is so advanced compared to the other Blender tools. And as far as I know, no one is trying to create something that is close to what it can do. So what is this tool and why you should know about it to create amazing fluid simulations? This tool I'm talking about is Flip Fluids. But hold on, I know that more likely than not that you have heard about it, but hear me out because it has a nice story behind it. The origins of Flip Fluids can be traced back to two individuals who modestly like to refer to themselves as two ordinary people filled with motivation and inspiration. Ryan Guy and Dennis Fassbader, who later became a force to be reckoned with in the Blender community, especially after they introduced the Flip Fluids add-on, which was the first ever add-on they have actually created. However, the story didn't start there. Rather, it all began on YouTube of all places. Let me explain. In an interview with Blender Market, Dennis recalled a time when he was searching for a way to generate high-quality fluids that contain white water. Basically effects such as foam, bubbles, and spray. During his quest for inspiration, he turned to YouTube in hope of getting a spark of creativity. And let's just say, that fortune was on his side, because the day after that, he found Ryan and his impressive YouTube videos, where he showcased a series of simulations that he rendered with Blender. After that, Dennis decided to send an email to Ryan, where he presented one of his previous work called the Fracture Modifier Project, followed by a daring proposal to join forces and create a new add-on called Flip Fluids. Regarding the subject, Ryan started that during that time. He had just begun exploring Blender and developing his own simulator as a hobby on the side. As he stated, I often read comments requesting that I replace Blender Fluid Simulator or create an add-on. It was obvious that there was a demand for an upgrade to the Blender Fluid Simulation system, but at the time, I had no interest in taking up this task. The Fluid Simulator was just a hobby project for personal use and the idea of integrating it into Blender seemed daunting. Then Dennis contacted me and he had the knowledge of Blender that I did not have. He had experience developing simulation tools and workflows. And this is what gave me the motivation to start integrating the simulation system into the software. This laid the foundation of the development of Flip Fluids, an add-on that allows us to create, run, and render liquid simulations within the software. Now, you might say that we can create that already in Blender, which is correct. So why Flip Fluids is different? And this is what we're gonna see. Skillshare is the largest online learning community with thousands of classes led by industry professionals in film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. I think what Skillshare offers better than YouTube and other platforms is a way to know exactly what you want to learn and chart a path to do it and know exactly where you're gonna end up at the end. This not only saves you a lot of time looking around for different bits and pieces and scavenging for tutorials, but also saves you a lot of time, headaches, and money. And with the new Skillshare learning paths, it is easier than ever to acquire new skills. You can take multiple classes that resolve around one skill, ensuring the best usage of your time with a hand-picked, curated list of classes aimed at students from all levels. You can learn one skill in detail, and go from a beginner to a pro. For instance, I recommend following these 3D models and animations with Blender Learning Path, where it gets you up to speed with modeling in Blender, in addition to texturing, lighting, rendering, and animation. 
So the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial on Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Start investing in yourself today and pick a path that might change your life. Unlike a lot of simulation add-ons in the market, which are just based on the Mentaflow simulation system of Blender, Flip Fluids took the opposite road by having its own simulation system and its custom sets of force fields and solvers. In a sense, we can say it is its own little software within Blender. But to what extent? In the Blender DevTalk forum, Ryan Guy stated, I wouldn't say that the Flip Fluids add-on is better than Mentaflow implementation or something that should replace Mentaflow. Flip Fluids and Mentaflow both have strengths and weaknesses, and Flip Fluids has features not available in Mentaflow, and Mentaflow has features that Flip Fluids does not have. For example, Mentaflow simulates both liquid and smoke fluid simulations, while Flip Fluids focuses strictly on liquid simulation effects. To add to that statement, in terms of core differences, Flip Fluids uses what they call an accurate viscosity solving method, which takes into account shear stress and the liquid surface, which I'm pretty sure doesn't make any sense to most of us here. So to not bore you with a physics class, think of it as a way to simulate how fluids behave in real world circumstances. Based on the rules of physics, such as Newton's laws of viscosity, for example, it can simulate honey without showcasing any signs of non-realistic elastic effects that we can find in some CG software. As for Mentaflow for Blender, while there is a certain subjectivity to it, I think the used method in flip fluids can produce more realistic fluid simulations. Just like how this user stated, the flip fluids add-on is one of the best add-ons out there for Blender currently, and Mentaflow also uses a flip solver but I don't think it has incorporated what was used by Flip Fluid Devs, which is an accurate, viscous free surfaces for buckling, coiling, and rotating liquids. Now, what does that mean for Flip Fluids? Well, while some argue it can be done with Mentaflow, I think we can all agree that Flip Fluids is a much more efficient solution to create large-scale fluid effects and to generate millions of foam, bubble, dust, and spray particles within our scenes in Blender. The use of high accuracy viscosity solver that we previously introduced is also an effective solution to simulate anything between really smooth liquids to thick fluids and everything else in between. It can also simulate the natural cohesion of surface molecules. In other words, it's what causes fluids to drip for example or to add an elastic look to splashes. It is also possible to choose between flip and apex simulation methods. And for reference, the first one is good for large scale splashy simulations, and the second, an apex, is good for small scale simulations, in addition to many other features that make flip fluids arguably the best choice in the market to create any type of fluid simulations, especially in Blender, such as splashes, water interacting with objects, and almost anything we can think of. Beyond the quality of the simulations themselves, there are many aspects of this add-on which makes the user experience of creating fluids in Blender much more enjoyable. But to what degree? And let me just tell you. The difference is day and night. But before we get into that, I think it is important to highlight first that it fixes a fundamental issue that is associated with creating simulations in the software. In a nutshell, the simulation settings within Blender are all over the place and across different interfaces and menus. I mean, just think about a case where you have to go back and forth between them. It's not so much fun, isn't it? So having an add-on like Flip Fluids that regroups all the features into one menu, such as the emitter and particle settings, can always make a big difference, despite how small that may seem. Besides, it also offers a pause and resume baking feature. Baking, in simple terms, is the method in which a 3D software saves the results of a simulation and it does this in a hard drive to not calculate it each time while rendering it. But it takes a lot of time, 
especially on weaker computers. So what this feature does, as the name suggests, is that we can pause the simulation when it is baking and resume it at any time we want, even in the situation of Blender crashing, which we all hate. Or if you notice a mistake through the simulation, for example, you can pause it and then resume the baking once you fix it without having to start from the beginning, unlike Vanilla Blender. Flip Fluids also comes with a simulator that can run in the background, which allows Blender to still be completely usable during the process, and we can in the meantime work on other tasks, for example, setting up materials and lighting. It also has what they refer to as an obstacle inverse workflow. I know this sounds complex for no reason, but basically, it is a way to make any object perfectly contain the fluids without any leaks, which can go from a simple pool or glass to pretty much anything else. On top of that, it has also debugging tools, which are a set of built-in tools that we can use to visualize the simulation, to better understand the simulation, and to identify any potential issues with it, such as low resolution. It also has what is known as the command line tools and a sidebar menu. Basically, according to the add-ons page, the fastest and most stable method for baking and rendering, especially huge amounts of simulation data in Blender, is through the command line, which is a text-based interface used for interacting with computers, operating systems, or software. It is basically a computer science thing, but the good news is that the add-on helps you with that and it helps you automatically set up and launch command line baking and rendering tasks even if you don't know much about it. The add-on is also really documented, with its own YouTube channel, a video learning series, and documentation pages, as well as example scenes and presets that come with the add-on. After all we discussed, I think we can all agree that Flip Fluids definitely took Blender simulations to another level. But is it enough? Is this a possible solution that can finally make Blender able to take on an industry titan such as Houdini for example? Well, the short answer for this is unfortunately no. Don't get me wrong though, it is a powerful tool. But if we compare it to other software such as Houdini, one of the most used software in the VFX industry and the go-to commercial software for major productions, it still falls short. Let me explain. I think what makes software such as Houdini better can be divided into three sections. First of all, since it is a node-based software, meaning that fluids can't be just limited to adjusting some settings in the menus that come with the software, like flip fluids, but you can build any complex simulation setups you want by combining nodes, which are in simple terms, small boxes that contain different settings, and we can combine any number of them we want, in any shape we want or form. In other words, it offers much more freedom and flexibility. Additionally, Houdini has a much more complex particle system, which is what fluid simulations are generally based on in VFX, and in Houdini, we can use different types of nodes such as wind settings to change the shape of the simulation of the particles however we like. And the best reason is that it has better solvers to simulate fluids, which we can cover in detail in another episode. But for now, Flip Fluids is an amazing tool that you have to use in Blender if you need any fluid simulations. And it is the best because it is used by thousands and thousands of artists who work in different domains like VFX, commercials, even ArcViz and other fields. So if you like what you see and you want to create cool looking fluid simulations, I highly recommend Flip Fluids because right now it is the best and nothing even comes close to it. If you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.